So which relevant client findings are of immediate concern to the nurse? Oh, we took this to another level. Why? Because now you're not only determining what is relevant, but now we're dealing with a prioritization possible style question where you have to identify what is the immediate concern. So let's say the scenario is the nurse reviews the medical record of a 65-year-old client admitted to the emergency department. In this scenario, they gave you a nurse's note. So the nurse documented a note at 1,500 hours. It says, admitted to the emergency department accompanied by husband of 40 years. Do you think that's relevant? Do you think that's important or really important? Probably not. Started having intermittent difficulty breathing and palpitation. Uh-oh. We have an ABC problem here. This better be somewhere on your relevant information. Notice that we don't have here the patient fell down, the patient has COPD, the patient has asthma. We don't know anything. Yet. Keep reading. It says that the patient started having intermittent difficulty breathing and palpitation two days ago. The patient able to walk short distances. History of type 2 diabetes mellitus hypertension and obesity and the patient lost 70 pounds over the past several years as you can see the scenario is not very clear yet and that happens sometimes you need to see the question in order to make it a little bit more clear and look at the question this type of question is known as the select N selector that apply. In this question, what well, the NCLEX wants to be very nice to you apparently, because it's telling you, hey, NCLEX Crusader, there are only six correct answers. So you do not have to select more than six. Oh, this is better, right? Because at least I know that I am only going to be clicking on six answers. It says, which of these findings are of immediate concern? So let's look or think about the strategy that we just mentioned. Determining what is normal or abnormal, expected or unexpected. Because what is going to be of my immediate concern something that is not normal and unexpected. So if your patient has fine crackles bilateral, do you think that is a normal finding? No, that would be a abnormal answer and unexpected. Why? Because just because the patient is 65 years old and has diabetes mellitus, hypertension, and obesity doesn't tell me that having fine crackles bilaterally is expected. So that, that is an unexpected finding. Abnormal, unexpected. So if it is abnormal, unexpected, that's my answer. Or at least one of the answers. Number two. S3 sound present, heart sound, S3. Well, what do you think about this? Is, is it normal for this patient to have S3 sounds, heart sounds? No, that is abnormal and unexpected in this clinical scenario. So that is another answer. Answer number three, the SpO2 is 95. Well, that's normal on room air. So if it's normal, then it's not going to be an immediate concern. So answer three is 
eliminate it. Tachycardia, same thing. No reason for this patient to have tachycardia. Elevated BP. Bowel sounds present times four. That is normal, so I'm going to eliminate it. Tachypnea, this will be abnormal. History of type 2 DM, irrelevant to the scenario. So I can eliminate it. And this is what I like about the new NCLEX. So if you have eliminated this and you have 1, 2, 4, 5, and 7, you only have 5 answers. You need one more. There's only one more left. Number 9. It says difficulty breathing. A, B, C. Sounds just about right. Number 9 is a correct answer. If we look at this deeper, what do you see in the answers? Using a little bit of critical thinking. Well, in one, that is ABC compromise. In two, the same, circulatory. In four, circulatory. In five, circulatory. In seven, breathing. In nine, breathing. What's the answer? What is the immediate concern in this scenario? ABC compromise. You know this already from Maslow's hierarchy of needs, from the SAR method. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, about Maslow and SAR method, you need to go back to first training here at NCLEX Crusade International. 